I'm Christine Sonnebend, and I'm with the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. And today you are giving a presentation on the migration to a new analytics and, and metrics tool. And I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about that and, and how that migration got you more focused data. Well, we were really drowning in data as I said in the presentation, yeah. and we didn't have any actionable insight, any recommendations we could get from the data. That was the hardest part. So we came up with a list of different thing, reports and different things that we wanted to come up with, and that would actually give us actionable insight. And we went forward, we decided we had to upgrade our web trends to mm -hmm. 8.5, and we decided we needed these new reports and profiles, so we went and listed all those out, the different things that we thought would actually get us somewhere, get us some right. good data. And then we decided to add the voice of the customer for C results. Fantastic. Now, with the migration, did you find that you got more actionable data, and can you give us some examples of that? Yes, I think um, one of the examples from 4C, from our Voice of the Customer survey, is um, that my favorite question, which is the what is the, if you could suggest one improvement to the USHMM website, what would it be? Right. I go through every Friday, I sit there and I go through <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of these answers. Some of them are simple, like more, fi more pictures, more information. Wow. But the amount, what's interesting is the amount of people saying more pictures. So wow. that is really incredible. So we have to tally that. And then we're just getting some really great responses. People talking about the FAQ, people talking about tickets, how they can't find what to do with tickets and why wow. do they cost money and how can they get in the museum and what's the museum address. And That's so fantastic. So it sounds like you're actually starting a conversation with the people who are coming to the museum who are looking for information. Yes. And, and are you able to take that and, and put it in action fairly rapidly with, with your environment now? Um, not just yet, okay. I have to be honest with you. I'm well, that's part of life sometimes, <laughs> right? Yeah. We, I do give the information off to my CIO and to some people I work with on the web team, and they've been able to take some little things, some little things they've been able to do, like when uh, one person talked about an error in the propaganda exhibit. So wow. we went back and went to, oh, okay, we found this, let's fix this. That's fantastic. Eh? Yeah, that, wow. that kind of information is very valuable. And getting the people involved in your community actually doing the, the quality assurance practically, doing that, that vetting of information. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. 